when the back reaction takes place then the H3O plus ions will give protons to the ethanoate ions so H3O plus ions will act as acids so we'll write conjugate acid and I'll tell you why conjugate uh, we write conjugate acid and the protons that are donated by the HCO plus ions will be accepted by the ethanoate ions so uh, a base is a proton acceptor so this will be a conjugate base so now we have this is a conjugate acid base pair and this is a conjugate acid base pair so a base and its conjugate acid or, a, an, or an acid and its conjugate base so as you know ethanoic acid is a weak acid so let's take this example so when we have a solution that has ethanoic acid so I have said that a buffer solution consists of a weak acid and its conjugate base so I have ethanoic acid which is CH3CO2CO2H aqueous it dissociates to give me CH3COO negative aqueous plus H plus ions aqueous now once we've done this then uh, then this is our weak acid and and its conjugate base so the conjugate base is CH3CO negative so we choose a salt of its conjugate base so let's take sodium ethanoate so sodium ethanoate is basically ethanoic acid in which the H plus ion is replaced by an Na plus ion so sodium ethanoate which is Na aqueous now this will completely dissociate because it's not an acid it's a salt and it's a salt so it will completely dissociate to form Na plus aqueous ions plus ethanoate ions so now if you see then because you know that ethanoic acid will partially dissociate the concentration of ethanoic acid will be very high and because you know that uh, sodium ethanoate will completely dissociate the concentration of ethanoate ions will be high because the concentration of ethanoate ions will be the same as the concentration of sodium ethanoate because all of it will dissociate into sodium ions and ethanoate ions so the concentration of ethanoic acid will be high and the concentration of uh, ethanoate ions will be high so what exactly does this buffer do when I have a solution in which these two reactions take place uh, it's a buffer solution with a weak acid which is ethanoic acid and a salt of its conjugate base uh, which is uh, sodium ethanoate then how does this buffer behave so this buffer behaves when I add H plus ions which so how can I add H plus ions when I add an acid so when I add an acid then the as then since I have a large supply a reserve supply of ethanoate ions then the H plus ions will react with the ethanoate ions forming ethanoic acid so the equilibrium for this reaction will shift to the left because uh, the H plus ions when I've added, an, added a small amount of an acid it will react with the ethanoate ions to form back ethanoic acid so H plus ions will so the concentration of H plus ions will not increase because when I add the H plus ions they will be consumed they will be forming ethanoic acid so the pH will be not changed because the concent the, the overall concentration of H plus ions will remain the same because as the concentration of H plus ions will increase the system will act to oppose the increase and hence the equilibrium for this first reaction will shift to the left and more of ethanoic acid will be formed and hence there will be no change in the pH because H plus will increase and then simultaneously it will be lowered so there will be no change in the pH now if I uh, so I can write that the first reaction that takes place for my buffer when I add acids is H plus aqueous plus ethanoate ions because I have a large supply of ethanoate ions from sodium ethanoate aqueous 
quiz gives me 